the gospel. We have all sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But God so loved the world that he gave the Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You see, the word believe is not just mentally ascending to the facts of Jesus Christ, his life, death, and resurrection. It means to entrust the well-being of your life into the hands of Jesus Christ. You see, the gospel call is a call of repentance and faith. The gospel demands absolute and unconditional surrender to Jesus Christ and Him alone. And the Bible says that God commands all people everywhere to repent because He has fixed the day in which He will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom He has appointed. And of this He has given assurance to all by raising Jesus Christ from the dead. You see, Jesus Christ is alive, friends. He is alive and seated at the right hand of the Father and will return again to judge both the living and the dead. So I plead with you here today is are you right with God? Are you covered by the precious, precious blood of Jesus Christ? If not, you'll have to give an account of your life from cradle to grave and be expo exposed in your sin. And the Bible says that no creature is hidden from His sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of Him to whom we must give an account. You'll give an account of your life to God Almighty. The final court of heaven and earth is the great white throne judgment where you stand before God when you pass from this life into eternity. You see, friends, death is not the end, but it's the beginning. Are you right with God, friend? Death is only the beginning. The Bible says this life we live in compared to eternity is compared to a vapor. It is here for but a short while and then vanishes. And eternity in hell outside of Christ would be your punishment and the just punishment for your sin. Did you realize that Jesus Christ, the King, spoke more of hell than he did heaven? And did you realize that the wrath of God is mentioned in the Bible over 600 times? You see, until you understand and comprehend the holiness of God, the righteousness of God, the law of God, you'll have no understanding of God's goodness in sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and die for sinners like me and sinners like you. So you must repent. Repent of sin. Repent of self. Jesus Christ said this, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. For what would it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? What sin in your life, friends, is worth dying and going to hell for? Are you willing to enjoy sin for a season and then spend forever in hell? And hell is real. It's a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth where there is no rest day or night, where the worm does not die. It is a place that will last forever and ever without end. So are you ready to stand before God? We give you here today the good news of the gospel. It is good news. And eternal life is found only in Jesus Christ. For God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Eternal life, friends, is only found in Jesus Christ. Will you believe? Are you willing to repent of sin and trust in Jesus Christ alone to be saved? Well, God's given you time, friend. Why not? What's holding you back? You love your sin too much? You need a new heart, friend. You need Jesus Christ to come into your heart and cleanse you of your sin. And He can do that today, friend. He can do that today. No, it's across the world, friend. Jesus Christ is the judge of the whole universe. He's the sovereign Lord of all creation. He's the King of kings. And He is the Lord of lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the great I Am, Jesus Christ is. He is the King of Israel, the King of the Jews. He is the great physician. He is the infinitely holy Son of God, all wise, all knowing. He is the one who emptied himself to come to this earth and die as a sacrifice for your sin. But you must believe upon Jesus Christ, friend. There is no other way to be saved from your sin. No other religion can save you. Buddhism cannot save you, friends. Islam cannot and will not save you. If you die as a Muslim, you will perish in hell. If you die following Buddhism, you will perish in hell. If you die trusting in 
living a good enough life, you will die and perish in hell. For there are many people in hell right now thought they lived a good enough life. And if you die trusting in the Roman Catholic Church, you will perish in hell. The Pope cannot save you. Mary cannot save you. Saying as many hell marriages as you want, but will not save you. You're still covered in, in your sins and exposed. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ to give in your heart. You need to repent and believe. For the gospel is good news, friends. It's the greatest news you'll ever hear. And we're here tonight to share this with you because we care. Because what is in store for those who believe? The Bible says, no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. It's a place of eternal rest, eternal peace. No sin, no sorrow, no suffering, friends. God will wipe away every tear. But you must trust in Christ. you got to believe upon Jesus Christ. You know Jesus Christ, friends. You must believe upon Him. Jesus said, unless you repent, you'll perish. You must follow Him. Give your life what God has given you time. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Monty. What you've been hearing the last uh, several minutes is something you may not like to hear. It sounds offensive. It sounds harsh. And some of you hate that. And I understand it because I was there once. I hated those words. Listen to the word of God in Romans. It says, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away. Together they have become useless. There is no one who does good. There is not even one. Their throat is an open grave. They deceive them with their tongues. Vipers venom is under their lips. Their mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Rude and wretchedness are in their path, and the path of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. That is the word of the Lord. Folks, whether we like it or not, that is the word of the Lord. We have to accept it. This Bible is true. It may, something, may say something that offends us, but that is God's right to do with us as we wish. And He has allowed us even in this country, so many years ago, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, there were preachers on these streets preaching the glorious gospel. And many turned to Christ. And in these recent years, the last 50 years, this place has become very dark. Very dark. And God has given you over, just like once, He gave me over to my sin. He gave me where I love lust. I love adultery. I love drinking. I love drugs. I loved all that stuff. And we take joy in that, don't we? We like it. It feels good. That makes our bodies feel good. Some of you still are in that. And you love it. And we're here to tell you that there's something going on with you and you need to know the truth. And it's not pretty. And it's not easy to say. But the Bible says, if you look with lust, you're guilty of adultery in the heart. Now, negative is what you think about it. The Bible says that homosexuality is a sin. Like it or not, it may not make you feel good about it. Okay? The Bible says if you tell one lie, you are a liar. Okay? It says all lies will have their part in the lake of fire. I don't care whether you're eight years old or 65 years old. You can have told a lie when you're seven and God's going to hold you in with that. That's serious. Jesus said if you hate someone that you're guilty of murder in the heart. That's the same thing as murder. Now granted here in this, uh, this town you're not going to go to jail if you hate someone. But God will send you to hell if you think hate towards someone. And that's serious. It's offensive, isn't it? Isn't it? it insults, it's insulting. But it's, it's God-given. Whether you believe it or not, it's here. You can see it in front of the street, in the middle of the street, and say, I don't believe in trucks. They don't exist. 
That doesn't keep one from coming and running you over, does it? You can say you don't believe in God, but He exists. He created us. He allowed us to live on this earth. And we have gone astray from Him. We love our passions for lust, adultery, stealing, lying. And we're going to pay for it. But I want you to know, folks, every one of you, and I'm pointing myself too, is guilty. We are all guilty. There's no one good. No, not one. That's what Jesus said. But there's forgiveness. There's mercy to every one of you. If you know how to acquire that mercy, if you know how to acquire that forgiveness from God, you can be forgiven just as I was forgiven. The Bible says, Repent, or you will surely perish. Repent means turn from your sin. It means confess and forsake it. It means you must stop stealing. You must stop lying. You must stop homosexuality. You must stop adultery. You need to stop this, folks. You do this. This is repentance. It also says to believe unto me. That's what Jesus said. Believe unto Christ. Don't just believe that He exists and that's it. But if you say you believe Jesus Christ, that means everything He was, how He came to this earth, what He said, how He died, and how He rose again, and everything that He said is true and accurate. Repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ alone. Folks, we are not here asking for money. We don't want money. You see people on the streets all the time trying to get money from you. We don't want your money. Okay? We don't want you to go to the church we go to. We want you to know the truth. We want you to know that there's forgiveness for everything, every evil thing that you've ever done in your whole life. Right now. You can leave this area. You can go home. But don't go home rejecting the gospel. Don't harden your hearts to the gospel. What do you think, guys? Tell me, man, you're, you're, stand, you're sitting there, you're, you're enjoying your uh, latte, and you're saying,